welcome back to Dark Souls 2, 3, 4, something. Yarr. Right, let's go. Ah, no, let's not. Let's not go. Let's go. Let's first check. I forgot to read this last time, and no one pointed it out. Or maybe they did. I don't know. <laughs> soul of the Soul of the Rat King's vanguard of the underground realm. The Rat King's loyal servant judges the worthiness of those who seek royal audience. Hmm. I. Yeah, it's not too much to go on there, but uh, let's go. The gutter. See, and there we saw this lovely slime. Hmm. Oh, maybe I. Sh I was gonna. Well, whatever. I guess I will light the fire. What? What's that song? Something about we didn't da 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 da. It's been da da. So it's a blah blah din blah blah. Yeah, I'm good at singing. You can tell. <laughs> um. <laughs> it was a pointless to do that. I have an unhealthy obsession with lighting these stupid fires. There's no, there's no real point to do it yet. By the way, it's just, it's just something I like to do. Stab you! Oh my god! Or miss you over and over again. Yeah. So who are these guys? If you ask me, they're kind of like the um, focus knife. No, they're kind of like. Um, you remember how in Blight Town? The inhabitants there were. How should we put it? They were there because they were, you know, they were suffering from the blight pus. In my opinion, this place is basically a mix between Blight Town, Tomb of the Giants, and all that stuff. I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet, but that's like my current sort of thinking. See all this goop going down the wall. It's also kind of like the Valley of Defilement. Don't you agree? I mean, it's got all this crap running down the walls, and ugh. It is... Although it's kind of a nasty area... I mean, it's not it's not as bad as Blight Town by any stretch of the imagination, but... It's a kind of... Kind of a nasty area. All the same, Dark Pyromancy Flame. We'll read that in a second. Once we kill this... What is this thing? Like a... Big mutant... Dog amalgamation of pain and killing me whilst I don't look at my health bar. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like a big freaky big freaky deaky dog thing. Let's read the dark pyromancy flame. Which I already have. <laughs> A flame catalyst used by pyromancers. Pyromancers rouse this flame to produce various fire arts. The flame rewards those with a thirst for power. The more hollowed one is, the stronger its effect. See, that doesn't really make that much sense to me. Because going hollow doesn't make you more powerful. It's the opposite, generally. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what's... Uh... Damn it. This is all your fault. It's your midget men who I can't hit. You'll notice we swapped to the falchion. <laughs> the falcon. The falchion. Ugh. Damn it. I should have gone the other way, but it's no matter. I find this area kind of confusing at times. stop eyes. Uh, right, we'll go down here. You can get through this area so fast, but I'm not going, you know, as fast as you can go through it. I really don't know what the hell this thing is supposed to be. A lot of health. And the main reason I'm using the falchion here is because the toy hand is a bit unwieldy. Just for this place. Um, where do I go from here? Hello. Shame this isn't. Um, oh yeah, ladder. Duh. 
Shadow the Shadow of the Colossus, I could just hold on my sword and it would point me the way to go. Actually it probably wouldn't as I'm not in a bright area. <laughs> that only happens in the sunlight, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, and their items can drop through the floor. They should probably patch that, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I understand why the, the hollows here. They're just kind of like the inhabitants of this area. But I have no idea what these dog things are. They don't really drop any items, so there's not really any lore about them. Uh, as far as I can see. But if you know of some lo mm. If you know of any lore relating to those doggies. Oh, crap, crap. That... I don't really mind the poison. It's... It's the, um... It's the knockback it has. Because it's knocked me off the edge more than once. Oh. Yeah. It's not as bad as Blight Town's toxic, but this area can be quite frustrating at times. Mostly, I think, when you're trying to record and concentrate on too many things at once. Ouch. Yeah, you can get through this area super fast and... Oh! Crap, it was an exploding guy. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. And it wasn't a suicide exploding guy, just a... Oh, you little punk. Oh, and the dog's kind of blocking me now. Oh, and there's another dog up ahead. Can I get round him? Yes, I can. Irritating, because I didn't get a chance to light that torch first. Ugh. Oh, you are not the dog. Just burn and stab this dog. Or he'll hit me anyway. <laughs> Where? Oh. I'm blind. Blind as a bat. Here we go. Yeah, it... Don't... Don't go around lighting all the torches. There's no point. I'm just being stupid. I don't know. It's like OCD or something like that. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Oh! I'm really fighting these dogs in a stupid way. Oh no, I only have 50 life gems left. You know what? We can just climb up here, can't we? Yes, we can. But yeah, there is something disturbingly satisfying about going through this area and lighting up all the torches. Bashing that statue. Oh, come on! Get hit! Get hit! Blimey. Ladder! He climbed the ladder! Oh no! Hang on, maybe we can just drop on his head. Yeah, kinda. Mm, mm. They do a lot of poison build up, so uh, if you want to swap to some more poison resisty gear, uh, I would say that's a good idea. My falchion's about to break. See, look how far that knocks you back. It's kind of Ridic. It's kind of Chronicles of Ridic, yes. <laughs> Look at those douchebags hanging on the edge. Who's even hitting me now? That's one of the main things I dislike about this area. When I miss one and I can't see what's shooting my... Is it, is it you? Must have been. Hell, I don't know. I don't even know... Let's go up here, shall we? What, why am I even doing all this? I said I wasn't gonna, but I ended up doing it anyway. Can you jump over there? 
properly, but I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna. There's actually an invader. Ah, uh, maybe I should... Because it's like one of, you know, it's the classic invader. God, I don't even know if you can make this jump. I'm gonna look really stupid if you can't. Looks like you can, just about. I'm sure she invades here. I hope... Oh, yeah, I probably should have shot some of these douchebags. Oh, she's not coming. Mm, maybe she's just taking her time. These guys can actually hit really hard, by the way, so take care. They have dark enchanted weapons. Which I think is just from the general darkness of this area. Um, hmm, doesn't look like she's coming, but there is a invader. It's, um, it's not Manny to Mildred, but it's that kind of thing, I think. It's, you know, it's like the meekly the Black Phantom type thing. Um, well, snap, I was hoping she would invade. What's this? Maybe she invades over here? Is that guy dead? I guess he is. Giraffe pointless. Hmm. Ah well. I'm sure she invaded here. I... Sometimes I think the invaders just don't pop up for me. So and I have no idea why. How do I get out of here? I'm probably going to spend the entire episode just in the gutter. Sorry about that if it's boring you. Oh well. Now take my word for it, there is an invader somewhere in this area. I might just be doing everything wrong and she might be in a different bit, but trust me, there, there is an invader in the gutter. We've got so much light. Ah, oh, there she is, Melinda the Butcher. I knew I wasn't crazy. Melinda. No. I, I wasn't saying no to her, I was saying no to my cat. Because he got up, I think he thought I was saying his name. His name is not Melinda. Hello. Oh, gives me a chance to do this. And then to do this. Where you at? Where you at? Where's she at? Oh! Sneaky. <laughs> so sneaky. No. Fire falchion at risk. Can I kill her before it breaks? But yeah, she's using a great axe, I believe. Yay! Not really much law significance, I think. But hey, now we're kind of back to the beginning. Ah, uh, I don't want to rest at the bonfire. My weapon's kind of buggered. You know what? We won't rest at the bonfire, but we will swap weapons to. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with the Sun Sword. And we'll cast Light again. It doesn't really last very long, and I don't like that. I wish it lasted a bit longer. They could give you more casts of it, but... Mm. See, now I'm... Oh, I... I... I'm sorry, I have to light it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I got brain problems, apparently. I just can't go through and leave these things on there. Ooh. Okay, that does not do very good damage. Hitting people with the torch. Oh, B. Even with a fire bonus. Wow, he did a lot of damage. You saw how much damage he did. That was with his, like, dark poke. Pokemon. I think Dark is actually a type of Pokemon. 
Pokemon. That is kind of creepy. This is hanging there. I don't know if it can hit you with poison or not, but definitely spooky. Too spooky. The ones without weapons aren't too much, you know, to worry about, but the ones with weapons, you've got to be very careful of those guys. They will batter the crap out of you. Oh. Really? I think I made that jump, but okay, I will defer to Dark Souls' judgement. I didn't really want to spend an entire episode in the... Uh, how much damage is... Oh, it's actually less teensy bit, but I don't know if they're weak to fire or not. I will go back to it. Yeah, I didn't really want to spend an entire episode here, but... It's not a huge issue. Right now, I'm just trying to get out. Even though I can see some treasure over there, I don't... I just want to get out of this area. Oh, poop. There we go. I can do a bit more poise damage to them when I two-hand. Yeah, I just want to get out of here, damn it. Speedrunners get through this place so fast. I've gone the exact same way I just went and died. What's wrong with me? Oh! Look how close he was to knocking me off. Just be gone. Be gone. Fast light's already worn off. Let's pop a life gem, shall we? I couldn't even see him. God damn it. Oh crap. This is not good. Neither was that ridiculous roll that almost killed me. Ah! <laughs> oh, god damn it! Ah, oh, gravity! I'm not really sure why I'm bothering to use these rings. I think it's mostly because I don't want to be bothering with my soul run back. Like, I don't want to be running over to collect my souls. Because I think I'm going the wrong way constantly. I don't know why I get so lost in this damn area. I just need to remember that blowy, uppy, phantomy guy. You! I hit you! Huey's coming down here now. And <laughs> the camp game locks onto the completely wrong enemy. It just let me past. Ah, I don't care about your poison. Too much, to be honest. Cast light is useful, it just doesn't last very long. Ooh! It could last a lot longer than it does. Oh, we're making a little bit of progress now, that's good. That's very good. We can go down there, and what's in here? Ooh, that guy had a weapon. He was gonna shank me. You, undead citizen, blowy uppy. Me no likey. What's in here? Wicked Eye Great Shield. Ah, let's read it. It's uh, a community made one, after all. Here we go. Great shield with an unsettling design. Covered in the prints of countless hands, the true origin of the shield is unknown. No amount of polishing can clear its face of the mysterious handprints. Um, yeah. 
I think that shield should be block 100% of physical, but it doesn't. That's just my opinion. I think it would be a lot better if it did that. And, yeah, it still kind of makes me a little sad that some of the shields just have a lot better like, law flavor. Tech. Come on, you did not just hit me that much. Stupid dog hit boxes. What is wrong with your hitboxes? Ugh. Doesn't matter, there's a bonfire very close by. This big ass ant in here is from the land of Jugo, I think. Jugo just has all these huge ass ants. You don't need to fight this ant. It uh I don't think it can even hurt you, but It's just sitting there happily. I'm not sure what this blue stuff does. Maybe it like degrades your equipment or maybe it heals you. Not really sure. I can't be bothered to kill it because it's just a big ant. It's not doing anything to me, you know? It's a bonfire nearby. Which I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Okay. Yes, we're almost done with the gutter. It took a lot longer than I needed to. <laughs> so I'm being a spaz. Yeah. Oh, just a little reminder, this isn't a super serious mega lore playthrough. Just, uh, you know, it's just me messing around, so... And this is not replacing my lore series. I, I don't really know how anyone got that impression, but... Oh yeah, that's the one. It's not replacing the lore series. It's just something to do in the meantime. And yes, I am working on lore videos, don't you worry. Actually, by the time this goes live, the PC version will be out. Which means I'll be working on the lore videos a lot, you know, more, because <laughs> um, I was waiting until the PC version came out before I start, you know, putting out too many lore videos. Because I don't, I mean, obviously, lore videos are going to have spoilers in their, you know, in their titles, which I don't really want to do until everyone's had a chance to play the game a bit. Especially as the first lore video I am working on is even just the title is technically a spoiler. Oh! You! Oh, we don't want to mess with him because he actually has a, a weapon that will do ridiculous amounts of damage to us. If we can fight him on the ladder, that'd be okay, because he can't. But he's not coming down the ladder. Okay, well, screw you then. But he's going to come down now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, of course. You have a taste of this. Yeah. No. Sometimes that gets really stupid. Mm. That was bad. <laughs> broken straight sword, like a dark broken straight sword, and it blows you the crap up. Ugh. Jump and attack. And where am I going? Do I want to jump down or climb up or what? I don't know. It's just fall down, I guess, and then heal. Because the guy down here is going to do a lot of damage. Is this where I want to drop down? It seems like a long drop. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. I didn't have to drop up this thing. Stupid. Mm hmm. Perfect. There's like a thing with 20 life gems over here. The reason I just kept attacking there was to be, you know, I didn't want one of them to hit me. So I was just flailing around like a weirdo. <laughs> Yay, 20 life gems. That saves me a few souls. 
Okay, we'll get to the first bonfire in the gulch, then we'll call it. Black Gulch will be a really short part. But, well, I'll have a lot to talk about, so... Next part might have a lot of me standing around talking. Just as a forewarning. I will apologise for that now, as I know some people don't like it, and I know other people get annoyed when I don't talk enough, so it's hard to balance it. Um, see these? You don't want to roll into these. Like a certain girlfriend of mine did. Don't roll into these because you will get your stuff broken up. See, I say that, and then I do exactly that anyway. Because I was standing so close, but whatever. <laughs> ah, it's not a big deal as I'm going to go back to Mahula once I'm done recording and level up anyway. But yeah, just hit them from a distance, and here we have... No black phantoms. Thanks. Thanks? Thankfully. I'm going to use another flame butterfly, but I've got like a million, so it's all good. See, I think in the original lighting that would have been a lot more important, as you wouldn't be able to see crap. Although it is still quite dark. It's probably the darkest area here. I don't really like the black gulch because there's a lot of horrible jumps that I fail at doing. Ha! Ah, but we'll leave that for next time, shall we? Awesome. Right. That's going to do it for today. Um, yeah. Topics of discussion. Just what is the gutter? What is it? Why is the walls got all poop on them? Hopefully, we'll come to some answers. But, uh, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Just what the saint is? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, oh! He would survive with like one health left, wouldn't he? Mm.